Hello again and welcome back. In this video, we're going to deep dive into PSM. We're going to have some demos. We're going to see how users can transparently connect to end system or the target accounts without even looking at the password. In the last video, we saw the preparation of the PSM, enabling PSM services in the master policy. All right, so we're going to log in as an LDAP administrator. Well, let's log in as a user, right? So on a day-to-day -day basis, users are the guys who would actually access PSM and make use of the different accounts. So let's log in as next protease underscore user. Once I'm, once I'm in here, in the accounts view, notice one key difference. As soon as I hover over any account, the connect button is now alive. Earlier, this was grayed out. That is because our policy didn't enable PSM. So without having to manually look up for the password, copy them, I can directly enable connection through PSM. So let's start with a Linux SSH account. So let's look for mm, CentOS. So I have my CentOS system, which is on 10.0.0.55. So let's say a user wants to make a change to a Python file that's out on the server. Once I have the account that I want to log in, I'll just hover over this button, click it and see SSH is my default protocol. So I'm going to click on that. Provide the reason, let's say, uh, t shoot a Python script hit connect. That's going to open up an RDP session through the PSM and that would tunnel SSH through it. So hit connect. You can see the details of what's happening behind the scenes. So PVWA is going through PSM where PSM is fetching the account details. I'm being recorded. So this is a disclaimer that is showing up and I have a SSH session opened up here. I didn't have to type a single password or a username. It straight away logged me as a root account. So PSM fetched all the details from the vault and transparently connected me to the target system using the root account. I can maximize and basically now I'm a super admin user. So let's say who am I? I'm the root. I can list all the files and root directories. So basically it gives me all the privileges that a root account would have. And PSM just took me in the session through the SSH session. And I didn't have to type in a single username or a password. So that's the beauty behind that. And I'll minimize this and say exit. So once the session is closed, you notice that the RDP session closed as well. Behind the scenes, what would happen is PSM would cache the recording on the PSM server that we have. And once that is done, it would upload the recording in the vault, which is the recordings safe. And it's going to be there for long-term retention. So I know now if I, execute some commands that I'm not authorized to do. I have an audit trail there, so nobody can deny it. Let's look at logging with the SSH keys. Just search for SSH. So the same CentOS box, I can connect with SSH keys. So in the same way, I can just hit connect with SSH. Test with SSH keys. Hit connect. Same thing. It's going to open up an RDP session through our PSM for Windows, which is going to tunnel the, uh, SSH. Hit OK.
connect. See the details behind the scenes here. Session is being recorded and authenticated with my public key. And there you go. So I'm a root and I can do my work and I can, let's say, remove that file. Say yes. The file is deleted for test.py. So once I'm done with my work, I can issue exit or directly close this window. Close this session. And that terminated the PSM session as well. That is how cool PSM is and you absolutely need PSM in any environment. Now you may wonder, I have a connect button out here, right? However, if I go to more options and click show, I'll still be able to see the passwords. Now, what would be the benefit of PSM? So to answer that question, we're going to disable this and only allow connections through PSM. So that's one great feature about CyberArk. So while we come towards the end of all these modules, we're going to tune CyberArk in such a way that all the users can only connect through PSM. They cannot see the passwords. They cannot copy the passwords. PSM is the only way that they can use to connect to the target systems. All right, so that brings us to the end of this current video. And we saw how users can transparently connect to end systems through PSM. And we saw how PSM plays a vital and a most important role in securing privileged accounts and transparently improving the user experience of a typical administrator or a business user.